Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Collie Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 56 of my subsistence let's play series. We've got a hunter over back behind the hills uh, to the south, I guess, of my base, I believe. Well, there's actually this three. Alright, that's a bit more spicy than I imagined it was. Maybe not a good idea. I don't really have the ammo for it. The only thing was I was hoping I could travel past them at least, but it doesn't look like with that many I'm going to be able to get away. And they're fucking crack shots too. Like, they always hit you in the fucking dome. Dead on. It's insanity. So, we'll head over. There's not a lot of time left in the day. Uh, do I want to head over to Cougar area? Probably not yet. Probably wouldn't be a good idea, given how late it's starting to get, and I'm gonna... Well, actually, I can survive minus two. So, I could get... Well, it's just too hard to see, though. Especially, like, if I'm in Cougar area and that in the fucking dark, that just seems kind of stupid, doesn't it? Gotta make sure we pinch everything from the fire. Oh, this is some more. Some of this is some stuff I picked up from inside the hunter's base. I came back here to check and there was more stuff that I missed. Uh, someone said in the comments, I don't have it up at the moment, so I can't remember your name. I apologize, but someone told me in the comments that I didn't check the second part of the workbench. But I did. I did get that stuff out of there. I got everything out of here. I got the stuff out of here, which was, you know, the, some of the copper and stuff that we got here. And that was about it. There's nothing else I can really check. I can't get access to the solar panels, and I doubt they'd have anything in them anyway, so. Alright. But that's that done. Okay, nothing in here. Alright. I was out here just looking for a bunch of iron. That was, that was the plan. Now... I kind of thought I was going to attack those hunters when I started the episode, and then I changed my mind once I saw the three of them, so now I'm very unsure of what I'm doing. Kind of just going with the flow for a second. I can find anything interesting around. Get this health kit. I will be hunting cougars in this episode. Even if I have to edit this episode down because I go on a ramble or something, I will hunt a couple cougars in this episode. I really would be comfortable if I had like eight or nine shotgun shells instead of five. But, um, that'll have to do. I mean, people are telling me it only takes sh two shotgun shots to kill a cougar. Now, that wasn't my experience. Maybe that was because I missed it and didn't hit it dead on. That level four bear is still hanging around. He killed me like... Five or six episodes ago or something? Oh, shit. I didn't think they'd respawn. Fuck. You fucking dick. Would you die? Oh, my Jesus. Really? Are you fucking kidding me? How many shot? They said they tight cold games. You said you tighten the spread. I mean, they might have not may not have been the best shotgun shots you've ever seen in the world, but pretty fucking point blank. Holy shit! I actually thought I was gonna die there. Just oh, I got my bandage back though. Do I have something I can eat so I stop running like super slow? Eat some of these or something. Maybe the egg too. I wonder what he's what stuff he would have in his base. He doesn't have solar panels and stuff up yet. I mean I guarantee you he's got stuff in there. I don't think I can clip into the wall. Have a look. Alright. Holy shit, thank you for the ash, you gracious, gracious man. Okay, so I'm going to head back to base. I'm probably just going to cut and wait out the night time. There's not a lot else I can do, really. So we'll probably just wait out the night time, and then I, when it hits the morning, I'll make my way over and hunt some cougars. All right, so I'll see you guys and girls in a moment. 
Okay, guys and girls, we are over towards the snow biome. I've stocked up on ammo somewhat decently. I'm fully fed, fully hydrated. I've got a couple health kits, and I've got two bandages as well. I hope we can at least take out a couple cougars, as long as we can find a couple. Um, hopefully. Also, green medical herbs are super easy to see out here, which is really nice. Should be able to find at least one or two out here, I would assume. Um, we just need a little bit more sinew, because we need to make three ropes to make our vest. Once we can get that, we'll be way good on armor, I think, and we won't have to worry about clothing anymore. At some point, I may get the heavy pants and stuff, but I won't be focusing on it. All right, I see our first target. The hard part is trying to make sure I don't get too close to the wolf and have them both aggro. The wolf I know I can one-shot, the cougar I cannot. So, at the very least, I would like to only piss off the cougar or the wolf, not both. But they're moving away from each other now. The cougar's near the tree on the left. Got an extra shotgun shell, which is very good. If we can pop him without getting hit, I'll be happy. It's going to be a bit of a pain. See, I don't know what people are talking about at taking two hits. It took... It just took me three then, point blank to the face. I mean, I guess some people may have the upgraded shotgun or something. I don't have that available to me at the moment because I need to kill more of these guys. Whew. Six Sinu. It's very good. All right, we have... I already reload? I did. We have three shots left, which should be enough for one more cougar. I hope. What is it, three degrees? Yeah, I'll be good to run around here. Like I said, it's just finding them. I mean, we found one, and I think that actually was a guy who killed us previously, and he leveled up from level one to two. Because it was in the exact same area that I died from the cougar last time. So I assume that's the same cougar. Seen anything. This is the problem. The cougars... There's so many different things in the game now that require you to kill these guys. But it doesn't seem like there's enough spawns for them. Fuck are they? I, I won't believe it if we don't find at least one. It's minus one now. Where the fuck are the cougars, dude? Come on. Oh, there's one. Right on the top of the mountain, you see that? Beautiful spotting by me, thank you, thank you. Save your compliments, it's fine. There may even be one on the way to it. Alright. You know, if I can hit it with the Magnum from a bit of a distance, the level 2 as well, We want his attention a little bit. I'm gonna have to keep him standing still. Alright, I got him before he hit me a second time. It's a positive start. Magnum seemed to just knock enough off to make him a two shot. I'm gonna use the cloth straight away to make another bandage for myself. Unfortunately, we've only got one shotgun shell left. Ah, uh, go away. I'm not in the mood for your shit, stupid wolf. 
Uh, maybe if we float around this area for a minute, we may find another cougar in the area. If not, we could call that good. I think what I should do is actually start making the rope. Oh, no, I can't. I need cordage. Fuck. I mean, I could get it. It wouldn't be too hard. Nice. Small cloth. Good. Need all the bandages I can get, really. Finding an ammo crate with some shotgun ammo and it wouldn't go astray, though. I'd be pretty happy if I found that. Let's see if we can see anything. Bear spotted. No cougars, though. It's a weird spot for ore to spawn. Halfway hanging off the edge of the, the stone. That was an ammo crate I saw over here, wasn't it? Yep. You got some shotgun ammo for me, game? Hmm? Hmm? Cold games? Did you program it to put some shotgun am ammo in this uh, chest for me? Oh, you did. Oh, fucking lovely. Uh, didn't think that was going to work. So what's this area? Is this like unfinished pretty much? Pretty barren out here. Oh, and then it just leads up into the snow. Okay. Well, I don't know whether we've got any more... Anything else out here, really? I'm not seeing anything. I see a bear all the way down there. I see another dog, wolf, whatever. All right, well, that's that's it for that. We need three cordage. Okay, we could try and quickly get some fiber on the way back to base. I guess we'll probably go really wide. So we can cover a bit a broader area that we haven't gone through yet. But we should be able to make three rope at least to make this chest armor before we end off this episode. So at least we've made some progression today. And like what worried me is I thought for some reason the armor disappeared when you died. Not that it will drop on your body. Although I guess it can disappear by chance. But I thought it was like every time you die, you lose it all. And I was thinking, man, that's expensive to die with that. Because it's not cheap to make. Alright, well, I'm going to make my way back to base. If anything interesting happens, I'll cut back. But otherwise, I will see you guys and girls back at the base. So I'm very confused by what this blue light is right here. There's like, I guess one of those light sticks stuck in the ground. But, uh, there's nothing here. Was that like, hang on, this is the area the rogue, the, the hunters were hanging out in, right? I guess because they're rogue hunters, like it, for some reason, left a light stick behind? I don't understand. I don't get it. I, I don't understand what the fuck they were thinking. Very strange. I wonder where they moved to, though, that's a good question. Alright guys and girls, we are back at the base. I have everything I need. I didn't realize that uh, last episode I actually got a bunch of padded cloth from the hunter's base, so that really helped. But we have everything we need now to make this combat vest. I believe you can wear the vest and the shirt at the same time. I really fucking hope so anyway, because if you can't, that's just stupid. And then I also need to work my way towards getting boots. Uh, I don't think I have the cloth for that, unfortunately. If I did, we could make that right now. I have the extra sinew to do it. Oh, sweet. You can wear it. Oh, look at us. We look like a fucking boss. Hell yeah, dude. I wish you could spin the camera around and look at yourself. Unfortunately, I don't think there is a way. To look at what your character's like. Which kind of stinks because it would have been really cool to see myself. Maybe if they had a mirror in game or something. I don't know. Like it just... I would just like to look at what my character's aesthetics are from a facial view. But, oh well. Obviously we can't. So, anyway guys and girls... That is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more subsistence in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, poise.